Dr. Christensen here. Hey, have you ever heard that line, your results may vary? You know, it's true in a lot of things. It's really true when it comes to your diet and your health. So just the other day, I was talking to a woman and fascinating story, you know, really, really fit, conscientious gal trying so hard. And her husband had gone paleo about a few months ago. And they, so they did that as a couple. You know, it's a good, good way to do it often. And he lost a lot of weight. He improved his health. His cholesterol dropped. Did really well. So she was doing step by step. You know, she was doing the same exact diet. Uh, you know, lesser amounts per her size, but exact same foods he was. Over that time frame, she put on 22 pounds. You know, rather petite woman. It was kind of a pretty big deal for her size. Her cholesterol skyrocketed, and she was developing pain in her abdomen. So we checked out, and we saw that she was heading towards diabetes. She was getting fatty liver disease. And yes, she was at risk for cardiovascular problems as well. So the exact same diet. We looked at a gene of hers called the APOE gene. I'm going to tell you guys about that. Turns out that the diet wasn't a good fit. <laughs> it was for her husband, and it is for many people, but it was not for her. Over the course of a month, being on a diet that was a better fit for this gene, we saw her drop weight, uh, cholesterol go down, and liver function improve over the course of a month. So what the heck is this? I mean, how different are people really? Well, there are little shuttles that move fat and cholesterol throughout your body, and they're called chylomicrons. You know, kind of a weird word, but think about like a cart in a uh, mine, like, you know, on the set of tracks, a little cart that comes out. Some people have big chylomicrons, some have smaller chylomicrons. Based on the size of those, you may or may not do a really good job moving fats throughout your body. There's one gene that has the worst chylomicrons for fat mobilization. It's called the 4-4 variation of this APOE gene that we're talking about. People who have that, pretty wild, they have a 20-fold increased risk for Alzheimer's disease. And it's probably much better if they're on an extremely low-fat diet. On the opposite end from the 4-4, there's one called the 2-2 gene. And people with this one, they need to have the lowest carb diets. They can't metabolize carbs, but they can just break down fats all day long like nobody's business. They do fine with that. So those two are kind of extreme. They're each about 2% of the population. But there's a group next to those, uh, which is about 12% of the population each. So about a quarter of us, a little more than a quarter of us, either really need to be low fat or really need to be low carb. <laughs> and the data is so strong. They've shown that even things like heart disease risk, it's very different for this group than this group, especially in terms of what their dietary needs are. This group on a, um, a high fat, low carb diet, more heart disease. This group, the opposite. Alcohol response. This group does not do well with it. This group it's actually very healthy for. So what happens so much in medical research is that a thousand people are put on one regime. You know, maybe they're all put on a low-fat diet. And of the group, some may do well, you know, some may do worse, and some may see no big results. So you average all that together, and it looks like, well, everyone did kind of okay. But individual results may vary. When you break down the group, some did badly and some did great. So this is one, one of many ways in which it's so critical to understand your individual needs. So APOE gene, there actually are easy tests available through most referencing labs. There's some good panels that we like to do that cover a lot of other genes to make a full picture about your diet, your nutrients, your lifestyle, and it's always a blast to individualize that. So stay on top of your health, be informed, be educated, <clears throat> and do what works for you. <laughs> Dr. Christensen will be back with you real soon.